Hmm. Ayan. <clears throat> so, let's try this. Ayan. Good evening, mga ka-Facebook. Kamusta kayo dyan? Good morning na pala. Nagmamadali na naman tayo. Well, alam niyo na kung bakit medyo may kabisihan ng araw na ito. Because ang dami nating backlog. Pagkatapos, uh, we are preparing for yet another trip. <laughs> Kaya pati ang buhok ko. It's flying away. So, yon. Hello po! Thank you for catching me uh, this morning. And I hope ay makapagbigay na naman ako sa inyo ng worthwhile na sharing. Galing sa ating paboritong libro, Charles Stanley, ni Charles Stanley na Pinamagatang Wisdom from Above. Alam niyo mga ka-Facebook. Hi, Klaisa! I know, we miss Aki. <laughs> okay, balik tayo. Thank you for watching, Tita Ellen Glyza. I hope Aki uh, makahabol also para makita kayo dito sa ating Facebook Live. Way ba ko sa'yo bago ako mag-start, no? Alam niyo mga ka-Facebook, uh, lately napapansin ko yung content ng Facebook ko at saka ng Instagram ko at saka ng TikTok ko is about uh, sharing. Either may mga doktor na nagsha-sharing ng kanilang uh, practice, uh, mga uh, general um, uh, management uh, advices na talaga namang kapupulutan ninyo ng maraming maraming magaganda at valuable na information. At nakakakita na rin po ako ng mga doktor na nagsisimula na rin po silang mag-sharing ng wisdom, ng kanilang mga wisdom, no? coming from other books naman. And, uh, at napakasaya ko kasi, uh, alam niyo marami na kayong um, magiging choices at marami na kayong maririnig na magagandang news, magagandang sharing sa Facebook. Uh, hindi lang yung mga nakatakot na doomsday or fake news na mag-aaway-aaway lang kayo, no? Kung hindi, mga inspirational na mga tao trying to make a difference. So, pinabati ko po ang lahat ng mga tao who is indulging uh, sa ganitong klase ng sharing using the digital platform like the Facebook. No? So, yan. So, thank you then Facebook for allowing these things to happen para naman magkaroon naman ng, ng fresh na na idea, fresh na sharing, fresh na blessing para sa lahat. No, so, yun. Now, tingnan natin kung ano ang hatid or handog ng March 29. Gaya ng aking uh, para ko sa inyo, sabay lang natin itong pinabasa. And I hope uh, through the help of the Holy Spirit, maging clear sa atin kung ano man itong babasahin natin at pagkatapos ay, uh, you know, ma-relate natin sa ating buhay so that if ever ma dumaan ulit sa atin ang parang kaparehong experience kung saan magagamit natin yung ating sharing, no? ay uh, magkakaroon na kayo ng kaunting guidance. I have to admit, ang dami ko pa rin pong natututunan uh, sa pag-sharing na ito. Kaya, hindi ko maiwan-iwanan. And as a matter of fact, kung natutuwa kayo, mas natutuwa ako kasi marami talaga po akong uh, nakukuha to nurture my soul, to nurture the person in me with regards to reading inspirational guidance book like this, authored by Charles Stanley. Okay. So, March 29. Wait lang. Buksan ko lang tong aking plasma spot treatment para natatandaan niyo po yung pimpod kagabi dito. Meron pa eh kaya. Yeah. 
Ultimate, wow! Ultimate authority. Yun po ang uh, title. Proverbs 29.26 Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. O oh, ha? Sa mga sipsip. <laughs> Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. Tandaan niya, justice comes from the Lord. Proverbs 29.26 Tingnan natin kung paano ito inatake ni Charles Stanley. It is amazing how often our future appear to be dependent upon the decisions made by others. Oo naman. Hi! Kagaya nga lang nung ano eh, nung uh, nangyayari between Ukraine and Russia. No? Because of their decision, ayan, marami ang nagsasuffer. But anyway, ituloy natin. Paano nga ba ito inatake ni Charles Stanley? Maulit nga. It is amazing how often our future appears to be dependent upon the decisions made by others. We will receive that promotion. Will the insurance accept our claim? Will that company consent to our proposal? Will that judge rule on our behalf? Ah, it seems at times as if other people have too much influence on whether we succeed or fail. Oo nga, ano? No? So, para sa mga bosses, ibig sabihin yung mga steward ng mga businesses na may-ari ng mga kumpanya na nakasalalay sa kanila ang pag-unlad ng kanilang mga staff, we pray for these people. We pray for them para magkaroon sila ng inspiration for the Holy Spirit to share their blessing so that there is inclusive group para sa lahat. But then again, tingnan natin ano. Uh, ituloy natin yung ating reading. But I write, appears to be and seems because the truth is that your life is in God's hands. He opens and closes all the doors you encounter for eternal purpose. And if He allows you to experience some trial, you know that it is ultimately for you, for your good and His glory. Oh, parang sinasabi ng libro, no? Ang lahat naman ng yan ay nasa destiny mo. But I still believe, pag pinagdasal mo yung gusto mong mangyari, no? Ah, uh, na ang iyong prayer ay uh, detalyadong-detalyado and believe in that prayer na ginawa mo, I'm sure the answer will be positive. Kaya lang, medyo kakaiba ang atake ni Charles Stanley. Hiwalay kami dito. Hindi kami jive dito. Dito sa page siya to, ganyan kami. <laughs> Nowhere was this more evident than at the cross. Mm-hmm. From an earthly viewpoint, Pilate, the Jewish leader in the crowd, seems to have the power to either send Jesus to his death or stay the execution. Pilate even said, Do you not know that I have authority to release you? And I have authority to crucify you. John 19.10 Jesus explained, You would have no authority over me unless it has been given to you from above. And we understand that God authorizes the crucifixion for our salvation. Likewise, the Father permits the circumstances you are experiencing for His greater purpose as well. This is not about the person making the decision, even though so much may seem to depend on what he or she chooses. Rather, this is about you trusting God in the means of this situation and allowing Him to work in and through you. So have faith in the Father and know that your ultimate justice will come from heaven. So at the end of the page is a short prayer. Hala, pray tayo. Father, I am grateful that my life is in your hands. Thank you for leading me, increasing my faith, refining my character, and protecting me in all things. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Diba? Eh, talaga naman. Agree naman tayong lahat na ang ultimate authority of all these things happening in our life. Walang iba kung hindi si Big Boss, ang Diyos. Tama naman, di ba? So, in that case, kung ganon, and you would want something to happen in your life, na parabagang ang decision of whether or not to proceed or to become stationary or stagnant relies on another person. Alam ninyo, para sa akin, ang gawin ninyo since ultimately the authority to give that yes and no is the Lord Himself, eh di ipag-pray nyo po yung tao na yon, Ipag-pray nyo po yung situation na yon, Ipag-pray nyo po ang sarili nyo just in case <clears throat> you are the one to decide on a certain matter. Ipag-pray po ninyo that the Holy Spirit will inspire you at ipag-pray ninyo na kung ano yung gusto nyo mangyayari in detail. Sabi nga, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will open. Will be open to you. So, ask. Hingin mo sa Diyos kung ano man yung gusto mo. And you know, if you believe na mangyayari yon, my God, sa totoo lang, mangyayari yon. See? No? Kaya, yes, ultimate authority is is coming from our big boss. Yes. But you will always have the chance to request kung anong gusto mo. No? And and the Lord would want to give that to you, especially if you, if tama naman, wala ka namang gagawin masama, ikaw naman ay tutulong sa maraming tao, ginagawa mo naman yung gusto ng look ni Lord. Natatakot ka naman sa Kanya. You have wisdom, you have fear of the Lord. You have discernment, nakuha mo na lahat na ito. You just have to ask. And be ready to to uh, to be uh, uh, to agree, no? Be ready to accept whatever is His will for you. Now, in case uh, there are things that talagang you know, it's not uh, hindi talaga para sa you. Alam mo, alam mo rin yun. Eh. Nararamdaman mo rin yun. Eh. Hindi mo lang ina accept. No? And because hindi mo ina-accept matigas ang ulo mo, nahihirapan ka, masasaktan ka. No? At ipipilit mo yung isang bagay na in the end, marirealize mo, it's not worth it at all. No? So, kung ganun, uh, at uh, alam mo naman na ipinipilit mo lang, nararamdaman mo naman yan eh. Alam mo naman ang timano, hindi dapat, hindi tama, pero gusto mo lang. No? Hindi mangyayari sa life mo yan. Kasi number one, maybe hindi makakabuti sa'yo. Number two, maybe makakasakit ka sa iba. Number three, maybe makakadestroy ka ng iba. Four, maybe mas malaki ang susuungin mong problema. No? O sige, i-accept mo yon So that magkaroon ng another opening, another opportunity for you na mas madaling pumasok. Kasi free me up mo yung iyong kamay free me up mo yung iyong situation yung inyong yung iyong yung yung iyong uh, environment free me up mo so mas madali mong matatanggap yung blessing na para talaga sa iyo kaysa naman ipilit mo ipilit mo nang ipilit mahihirapan ka lang it's not gonna happen no or maybe sa kakapilit mo unti-unti mong makukuha pero hirap na hirap ka Alam ninyo, uh, ang ako, um, ang aking mapapayo sa inyo, uh, for you to be able to know that these blessings comes from the Lord, eh, eh, po ay dumarating ng wala kang kahirap-hirap. Yes, may participation ka, pero para bagang puzzle yan, it falls to the right place. Totoo yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Maniwala kayo. So, you ha just have to uh, first lift it up to the Lord in prayer. Ask Him. No? And then surrender to Him and accept. And accept. Now, 
Uh, sana marami na tayong mga learnings coming from this book. And if you will just uh, review all the other uh, days ng ating reading, makikita ninyo. Dito sa month of March, tinuturuan tayo ng libro ito, How to Live Wisely. And part of living wisely is accepting that everything happens because the Lord wills it for you. Now, if you want to, if you want something and you think it's not happening at the moment, lift it up. No? Pray about it. Pray for it. Ask for it. Hingin mo. And then be ready. Kasi baka pag binigay na ni Lord yan, sobrang dami ng blessing. You just have to, 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 you just have to have a heart that is uh, big enough to receive the blessing, arms and body strong enough to receive the blessing, inspiration, no? Uh, and the spirit that is generous enough to share it. Kanta. So, sana, kung ano man yung gusto ninyo, mangyari, mangyari sa inyo, no? Walang imposible. Basta, ipag-pray lang ninyo and believe na dun sa prayers ninyo, mangyayari yun. It will happen. Don't worry. It will happen. Na? So, bago ako uh, mag-start, um, you know, prepare myself to sleep. Sabi ko naman sa inyo, the time that I take my supplement is before I go to sleep. So, yeah. Ano ang aking food supplement? Yeah, immune advance. You know, this is good. I like this because uh, it helps me sleep. Medyo hirap ako matulog pero ever since I take this, because this has moringa or, or malunggay, high in magnesium, it helps you sleep. This has lagundi, it opens your bronchial, ah, uh, your, your, your air passage para... Yung hangin, yung hininga ni Lord, pasok na pasok sa katawan mo yan. So, marirelax ka. Merong vitamin C and zinc, good for our cells, no? And, and, and it works together, no? In synergy, para maging healthy ang ating katawan. First, making our immune system healthy. Yun. And, knowing na merong kang ginawa para sa iyong kalusugan. And I take this before I go to sleep. I'll tell you why, wait. Hmm, okay. Naririnig nyo. <laughs> so why? Because during sleep, you recuperate, you rebuild, you repair. So, doing all these things, you need energy, you need vitamins, you need minerals. And where do you get it? Of course. From the food that you eat, and it kulang yon from the supplements that you take. So I hope you keep yourself healthy. Love yourself, po. Uh, it is one of the greatest blessing that you can give yourself is for yourself to feel that you love yourself, no? So in the evening before I go to sleep, of course we pray. We all uh, we pray as a family. And then, uh, pag meron pa akong oras, I read the Bible, and then I do another prayer, uh, just to remember uh, very special people na I, I, I just want to pray uh, and, and mention them every day. So, and then, of course, uh, patutulog na. <laughs> so, yun lamang po. Uh, stay healthy, keep safe, before you sleep, hug yourself. Uh, and then, sabihin mo sa sarili mo yung mga positive uh, values na gusto mong magkaroon ka. Mga positive things and positive words na gusto mong ma-receive. At ang unang-unang pwedeng magbigay niyan sa'yo ay ikaw. So, ang practice ko is, before I sleep and I have time, I hug myself. And then, sometimes, I do my neck massage and shoulder massage or even hands and feet massage while telling my while telling myself chanting that the lord loves me 
that I am beautiful, I am gentle, I am healthy, I am important, I am happy, I am a joyful person, I give good counsel, etc., etc., etc. Everything that is positive. And, you know, ang sarap ng feeling. Eh, kesa naman ang naririnig mo behind your, your, at the back of your mind, no? Ay mga sinasabi na, ah, hindi mo magagawa yan. Ah, kulang yan. Ah, matanda ka na. Ah, ganyan ka. Ah, ganito ka. Kesa naman ganun, ang tumatakbo sa isip mo, then, shut that noise. No? Up. Shut it up. No? And start telling yourself, you're important. You're love. I am important. I am love. I am happy. I am successful. I am favored. I am ganyan. And I can do this. And I can do that. Ay ang sarap-sarap. So instead of entertaining negative thoughts, you're actually telling yourself and entertaining good positive thoughts that are only uh, healthy for you and we will end is able to build you up. So, para pagising mo sa umaga, lahat fresh, lahat beautiful. So, ayo nakadagdag pa ulit ako sa inyo ng mga bagay na talaga namang nakakatuwa to share. So, until uh, the next day, which is today, <laughs> ang inyo pong natural MD will be back. So, that's it. Always remember, I love you all. Good night and good morning. Bye! See you again!